broadcast. The G system ratio pressure is set for three to one. Confirmed. Thank you. And solenoid is on. Solenoid is on. And our subject is Kevin Morris. Kevin, can you confirm with a thumbs up that you are as fit to undergo this decompression as when I examined you earlier this morning? Thank you. And will you confirm in like manner that to the best of your knowledge you have breathed nothing but 100% oxygen for at least the last half hour? Thank you very much. We'll now do the physical ground level checks. Right, Daniel. Supply pressure to the regulator. Yeah, on mic if you will. In fact, if you put your mask up to your face and talk straight into your mic, you'll be... Okay. It's, in fact, I, I'm, I know I'm pernickety about this, but if you can call it as connected and pressure within two to four hundred pounds, you can see the dial there to there. Number one. Connected supply pressure two to four hundred psi. Thank you. G ratio module. Let's call from outside. Is installed at three to one. Thank you. Supply pressure to the G ratio module is uh, seventy psi. Thank you. Okay, number four. G trousers. Connected. Waistcoat. Connected. Mask hose and flow meter. Connected. Harness straps. Connected. Buckles and chin strap. Connected. Flying position. Uh, regulator at one hundred percent. Now it's plated in that position. There is no slider here, so you can confirm it's in one hundred percent. Confirmed. Magnetic indicator. I don't see it blinking. It's it is blinking. It's going black and white. You've got to look on white. It. Okay. I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah. Blinking and blinking. And no, sorry. Thank you, Ollie. ECG. It's connected inside. Yep. And monitoring position confirms a trace. Okay. SAO2. Just wait for Simon to run around to get on. Okay. Right. I'm on RT now. Okay. ECG tra uh, tracing coming through. It's coming through. Good. SAO2. Is there, 100%. Blood pressure. It's good. Ma mass spec? Yeah, it's okay. Flow? Is okay. Oh God, the integrator's drifting like that. Hmm. That's it, yeah, it's all right. Mass cavity pressure? Is slight, showing uh, safety pressure. Good. G-system pressure? Is good. And emergency oxygen? Available and tested. Thank you. We will now do the physical ground level checks. Mask toggle down. If you can call that selected, please. Uh, um, selected. And I'm going to do the through mask uh, press to test. If you can confirm that the mercury column on your right hand side rises and that both garments inflate. Okay, so if you can put a hand on each garment just to feel it come. And I will call down for pressure testing. Pressure coming on in 3, 2, 1 now. Pressure. Thank you. And the mercury column rose. And the mercury rising. Okay, return to normal and to safety rather and mask toggle up. Selected. Right, we'll now do the pre ascent checks. Traces. Are oh, running at 100 millimeters. All channels recording. And tape is running. Tape is not running yet. Do you want it running now, sir? Yes, please. And videotape. It's been running for the last couple of minutes. Thank you very much. Right, safety man's personal checks. You can check your own regulator in terms of contents flow. Completed. Thank you very much indeed. We are ready for ascent. Now, I always do my last eyeball as Kenny knows. Simon, can you do the far door, please? Yeah, certainly. Okay, Ken. Okay, then, closing at the outer door. Okay, we are clear for ascent. Will you climb the small end in capsule to 16,000 feet at Fall Street? Ascending at Fall Okay, Kevin, I'll repeat the brief.
brief, as I told you before. When we get to 16,000 feet, we'll do the uh, checks there as normal, close the door, and take you up to 25,000 feet. On the ascent, it's as well to make yourself as comfortable as possible by venting gas upwards and downwards as you feel comfortable to do. Don't worry about it. Major Corkins is on 100% in any case. Your, uh, he, can, he can fend for himself. So just make yourself as comfortable as you can. When we get to 25,000 feet, we'll go through the pre-RD checks that you've heard and contributed to so often in the past. And then when everybody's happy, I will say a standby for rapid decompression in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. I want you to take a normal breath in on the 5, 4, 3, out on the 2, 1, now. You will hear the bang of the decompression just as you did yesterday. 5,000. Check 5. And the chamber will whistle up over the next 3 seconds to 45,000 feet. The difference is, of course, that this time you will get pressure in your mask, and I want you to roll the toggle down into the pressure breathing position and go into the pressure breathing cycle you've practiced and done so often in the past. Throughout the time at altitude, I want you to maintain eye contact with me. I'm sorry about that, but I must insist. Um, if you fail to maintain eye contact with me, I will remind you to do so. I will also periodically ask for a thumbs up and that you are content to carry on. If you do not maintain eye contact or give me a thumbs up on request, I will bring you out of pressure breathing country straight away. Okay. Notwithstanding any of that, if you want to come uh, down, just give us a thumbs down and we'll come straight out of it. Okay? Is that all understood? Great. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize for coughing in the microphone. I'm trying to get to the switch in time. The first part of descent is quite brisk. You shouldn't have any trouble with your, though with your ears and sinuses because you're actually quite high up. If you do have any, and the pressure difference is not that great. If you do have any problem at all on the way down because of ears and sinuses, just give us a thumbs down and Ollie will stop the chamber and we'll allow you to sort it out. Okay? And this is where we go up a little bit. 10,000. Check 10. Dan, can you just do your regulator checks? Your own regulator checks for 10,000 feet. On a hundred percent. Okay, and you're winking and blinking nicely, I can see. No, not too many. Did you go home to Portsmouth? Oh, I had to swap the car. Oh, you, you weren't allowed to keep the Cavalier? No, no, no. Not oh. like a travelling comfort too often. No, no. Dear, oh dear. Women. I've got some good news to tell mine. But <laughs> I was going to tell you what it was, but there again, I remember the VCR was running. <laughs> 15,000. Check 15,000 feet. Listening in, the way week after air show we are doing NASA uh, people with maybe one, maybe two uh, for a camera style run. To what altitude? 56. Oh. 25 to 56. We'll do for them. That's not a lot. Chamber ready or steady? Shall I say at 16,000 feet? Thank you very much indeed, Ollie. Okay, Daniel. We'll now run through the physical 16,000 feet checks. I'm going to be craning in anyway. We're on to number 20, and it's G-trousers. Connected. And waistcoat. Connected. Can you just check with your hand that, that it's... Okay. Right, and, and on the, 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 the connection is firm against the waistcoat itself. That's fine. Yes. Mask hose and flow meter. Just follow it through. Connected. And the supply pressure to the regulator. I drop it down, correct? No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Just look at the indicator. The supply pressure at the moment is normal, is it? Should correct. Two and four hundred pounds. Okay, and the supply pressure to the G ratio module outside? It's normal. Thank you. Functional 16,000 feet checks. The regulator's at 100%. Confirmed. And the magnetic indicator? Winking and blinking. And copied out here. 
Now, can you set the regulator to normal by rotating that uh, lever to the up one click? Done. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. Right. Thanks very much indeed. And we'll just confirm that the doll's eye is winking and blinking as normal before. Winking and blinking. And copy that side. Okay, fine. You can out and close the door, please, Daniel. Okay, Kevin. Right, chamber door configuration. Is it isolated, Daniel? Isolated. Thanks very much indeed. And your personal checks, please, Daniel. Completed. And pens to 250. Pens to 250. And we are clear to ascend to base altitude. Will you climb the capsule to 25,000 feet at falls, please? Ascend the capsule. All of that. Just wondering what size shoes he takes. That didn't do his heart rate any good, Ollie. No, we're on VCR. Indeed. Okay, can we do the base altitude pre-RD checks then, please? Small chamber altitude. Is 16,000 feet. Chamber door configuration. Daniel? Capsule isolated. Thank you. Reservoir setting. Is 104 millimetres. Valve setting. 13, giving 3 seconds. Capsule altitude. 25,000 feet. Safety man. Ready. Monitoring position 1. Pens running. Ready. And recal. Sorry, Ian, is the recal out? Just doing it, sorry. Be before we go anywhere, sir, yep. there's some funny trace blips coming through on the Vina press. Really? Yeah. There's is nothing on the screen. Is it solenoid interference? No, it does I don't think it is. It doesn't seem to coincide with a solenoid. There's been two now. One was a big one. It's like pen just whips across the page a couple of times. Stand by.
when it feels like it. Sorry, Kevin, back on. It looks like there's small, small electrical interference of some sort, and uh, your traces here are all completely normal. Yeah, no problem. Okay, then. Right, let's pick it up again at 36. You okay, Kevin? Right. Safety man. That's ready. Monitoring position one. Ready. Recal is out. Yep, confirmed. Monitoring position two. Ready. Recording positions one and two. It's running at 250 millimeters a minute. Thank you. Reservoir operator. Ready. Chamber operator. Ready. And subject. Okay, then. Ready. Ready on the toggle and standby for rapid decompression in five, four, three, two, one, now. Pressure's rising. Good. Coming back down. Very nice. Good, Kevin. Okay. Fine. Valve closed. Very good indeed. Nice, steady breathing. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds gone. Okay, Kevin. Very good. Good breathing pattern, just as you've done all those times before. 30 seconds. Okay, Kevin. Good. Very good indeed. Steady mask pressure. Nice steady breathing pattern. PO2, please, Graham. 72, steady. Excellent. 45 seconds. 45 seconds, gone. Okay to continue, Kev. Very good. Yes, you've got steady pressure there. Nice breathing pattern. That's very nice indeed. One so minute. One minute gone. And PO2 again, please, Graham. It's 74. Fine. Excellent. So it's nice and stable. Jolly good. Just keep that breathing pattern going. Okay, then carry on, Kev. Very good. 115. One minute 15 gone. <coughs> on the way down, I'll call your mask pressures to you as I do for everybody else, okay? And just keep the breath pressure breathing pattern going all the time until it's gone completely from your mask. One minute 30. One minute 30 gone. Okay to continue. Fine. Nice steady pattern. Good. One minute 45. One minute 45. Remember to keep concentrating on your breathing when we're on the way down. Don't relax until the pressure's gone from your mask and let you toggle up. Good. Very good indeed. Two minutes descending. And you've got 30 in the mask. Keep the pressure breathing cycle going. You've got 26 in the mask. You've got 22 in the mask. 20. 18. Okay, Kev. Good. Very good indeed. You've got 12 in the mask. You've got 8 in the mask. If you can roll the toggle back now if you w wish to. You've got 6 in the mask. I'm 35,000. At 35,000 feet, you've just got safety pressure left in the mask. We're continuing down at 10s if your ears are okay. Yeah. 